Hello and welcome to your gentle session. Today I thought I'd use some fun things. If you have a big Pilates ball, have that handy for us to use, but don't worry if you don't have one. We are using a chair. If you have a TheraBand, let's grab that. And if you don't have one, you can use a towel, a belt, a scarf. And I always like to have a cushion handy for neck and knee support if you need it. All right, we're gonna work the full body today. Stay in a range that just feels wonderful for you. No pain, no strain, just the good stuff. All right, guys, let's go. Find a beautiful placement, feet, knees, hips in line. Soften the knees and connect into your center. Let's pull the shoulders back and give me beautiful loops around for five and four and three. Breathe two, exhale one other way for five and four and three. Breathe two and place these fingertips onto shoulders. Draw these elbows around. Two, exhale three. Breathe four, exhale four, five, other way. One, breathe two, and three, exhale four. Now lower these arms next to the body. Let's have palms facing forward and give me that side bend. And center, exhale, side. And center, moving two, inhale back, exhale, side. And three, let's breathe in out. And breathe out, and add this reach up and over past five, four, three, two, and one. Draw this arm over past five, four, three, and two. Breathe one as you come back, anchor shoulders down, float one arm up, one down, and swap. Two, exhale, swap, breathe, three, and swap, deep breath for four, and one to go, breathe, five. Now let's see what these spines are doing as you tuck your chin. Tighten the core, let's roll the body down. Take a deep breath in at the bottom. Exhale as we slowly roll it up. Pull the shoulders back and lift that chin up. Two more. Tuck and roll down. Deep breath in at the bottom. And exhale as we slowly bring that body up. One more. Same way your back feels good. Never over stretching. And let's walk those legs up. Bending and stretching. And two. Breathe three. And stretch, and four. We stretch, breathe, five. Stretch, and six. Two more, breathe, seven. One more, breathe, four, eight. Take your time. Roll this body up all the way. Good, and I want you to please turn to face your chair. I want you to hold the back of the chair. Feet and knees are gonna find a distance apart. Bend the legs and find that tabletop stretch. Now guys, watch that you don't drop that head. I want those ears and arms in line. If you feel more legs than back, then bend those knees. Take that pressure off those legs. And let's get that spine moving. We're gonna curl into your upper body. Inhale, pull that pelvis back, stretch. Breathe out as we curl. Inhale, let's stretch it out. Three, breathe out, curl. Inhale, let's stretch. And one more, breathe, curl. Inhale and hold that position. I want you to take one hand, place it behind you. The hand that's on the chair, glide it across and sway into that stretch for three, two, one, and lovely, other side, let's sway and hold three, and two, breathe one, and draw this body up, and let's take it into that forward step, use that chair for support. Pull that foot to the back, connect your shoulders, soften that standing leg, 
And let's get rid of that sitting tension in our flexor as we tilt that body forward. Inhale, drawing it back. Again, let's tilt the body forward, pull that knee back. Inhale to center, three. Exhale, forward tilt. Inhale, coming back, one more. And tilt, and give me a lovely stretch in that thigh, that hip flexor, and hold five, four, breathe, three, exhale, two, and last time, one, amazing. Other side, pull that foot behind. Check your shoulder placement, and let's go into that forward tilt. Inhale, draw it back, two, Exhale, forward tilt. Inhale to center, three. Breathe out to tilt. Inhale, one more. And stay in that stretch. Make sure you are getting that thigh, that it flexes it to get that stretch. Remember, if they are tight, we won't be able to challenge that core as much as we want to. Good, and let's see what those glutes are doing. Grab that chair at the top, ankle on you, shoulders pull back. And I want you to pull that pelvis back and down. Be very gentle with this. Make sure you're pulling that pelvis backwards. I don't want too much pressure on that standing knee. Now on this third one, I want you to go to where that bum is getting this delicious stretch. And hold five, keep that core strong, four. And three, breathe two, exhale for one, other side, let's go. Breathe up, putting those hips back and down. Inhale up, breathe up for two. And up, one more, exhale lower and hold it there. Feel that stretch, check your core, check that body placement. Good, and let's get into some standing stability strength. Now, I want you to use that chair to get into a forward tilt. It's important to me there's that straight line in that lumbar spine from your tailbone up. Connect your ribcage, your belly. I want you to draw the shoulder blades together, beautiful length in that body. Bring your feet and knees together, and let's soften the knees. Hover that one leg in the air. Now from here, we're going to stretch as you squeeze that back, not going too high. I don't want you feeling any pinch in the lower back. Inhale, bend as you draw it in. Again, be really conscious here of not letting that body sink into that standing side. Keep your body weight in the middle. Exhale for three. You want to feel your belly and your bum tighten as you push back. Exhale for four, keeping those shoulder blades beautifully connected. Exhale for five, working through that hamstring. Squeeze six, inhale, come back. Breathe out that standing leg, feeling that power, not letting ankle, knee, or hip wobble. And let's go for two more. Breathe out, squeeze. And breathe out one. Now, I'll give you a choice. Option A, stay in this position. If you are up for a challenge, your opposite hand lift in front of you without letting shoulder tense. And hold nine. And eight. And seven. Breathe six. And five. Breathe four. And three. Breathe two. And one, and half your standing leg. Are you feeling the burn? Hopefully a good kind of burn. Amazing. Other side. Get that forward tilt. Shoulders away from here as knees are bent. Hover that back leg. And let's go for it. Stretch and squeeze. Bending in. Good. Stretch and squeeze. Not letting those hip lines change, keeping that back beautifully controlled and in. Squeeze for four. 
Inhale that standing leg. Show me that control. Five. And in. Breathe out. Squeeze. And in. Tighten belly and bum at the same time. Three more. And squeeze. And two more. Breathe out. Squeeze. And one more. Now holding your option A. Challenge with that opposite hand. Ten. Nine. Be strict with placement. And seven. Breathe out. Six. And five. And four. And three. Breathe two. And one. Relax. Amazing stuff. Let's get you seated. Now I'm going to do this set on the ball. If you don't have your ball, you just sit comfortably on your chair. And I want you to have your band or belt close by for our upper body work. Work in with that in just a while. So first things first, let's find beautiful posture. Be strict. Feet, knees, hips, all find their placement in line with each other. Neutral spine, you want to tuck your tailbone into the center of the seat of that ball. And this is the control we want to lift up through the vertebra. Light hands on the side, draw your shoulder blades together. And we curl into that spine, you want to tighten in your core. Not letting those shoulders pop up or that neck tense. Gently lifting up, find your neutral. Again, as you curl down, tighten in that core. Inhale, grow tall to neutral. Three, breathe out to tuck and curl. Inhale, let's lift. Four, breathe out to curl. Inhale, we lift up. One more, breathe out, five. And let's lift up. Now keep that upper body beautifully placed. Float those hands in front. Keep your collarbones open. And let's draw that right hand as far back as you can go. Be really conscious of placement here. Watching your knees are not flaring in. You're keeping that beautiful alignment. We use this to get those collarbones open. The tension we build in our chest and shoulders. Let's get rid of it. And I also love using this to mobilize the neck, the jaw. And on this one, we're going to stay in position. So open this up and just give me three. Imagine I'm putting your arms in opposite directions. Two. One. Draw back to center. Sit up tall. Let's open up and hold. Three. Two. And one, excellent, come back center, relax these arms down, keep that body upright, and let's go into a leg lift without letting those hips tilt. Inhale, lower, we're going to alternate other leg. We lift using your core, so I don't want to see that back collapse or those hips rock side to side. Let's alternate for two. Inhale, lower, left leg. Breathe out to lift. Inhale, three, trigger that core and lift. Inhale, lower, left leg up. Inhale, three more each. Every time you come back to the set, it's getting stronger, getting easier. Lifting taller and two more. Breathe out, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. And one more. Each breathe out. Up. And lower. Exhale, lift. And even if your body doesn't need a break, give your body a recovery. Good. Do you feel how much work is actually involved in getting that corset strength, that sitting posture? It's quad time. Let's get those thighs strong. So good for that knee strength. Find that incredible posture again. Flex that foot. Now, option A, you're going to keep the heel on the ground between ribs. If you can challenge yourself, try hover the leg. Now, stretch that leg. Squeeze that thigh without letting that back collapse. Bend in your knee either back to ground or in the air. Up to you. Let's go for two. Squeeze that thigh. 
Inhale, bend down. Three, as you stretch, tighten that core. Inhale, bend, good. Breathe up for four. Inhale, bend back. Exhale, squeeze five. Inhale, bend back. Breathe out for six. Inhale, in. Exhale, seven. And come back. Breathe out, eight. And two more. Exhale, nine. And one more. Breathe out, ten. And relax. I'm hoping you're feeling that real deep layer of strength that's involved in these quadricep muscles. So important for that knee stability. All right, corset strength. Flex that foot. Let's go. Squeeze it out. Ten. And bend. And nine. And bend. Breathe. Eight. Inhale. Breathe out. Seven. Watch that posture. Breathe out. Six. And in. Exhale, five, tighten thigh, breathe, four. Lift up tall, three. Exhale, four, two. And last time, breathe out, one. And relax, amazing. All right, if you want to repeat that set, guys, stop, rewind, repeat. It's totally up to you if you want to add that intensity. Let's get these shoulders and upper arms super strong. Now, beautiful posture. I want you to pull out on that band or belt, connect these shoulder blades, sink to your chin, and we glide those arms shoulder height. Don't let this position happen. You want to be strict. Inhale, lower down. Breathe out, tighten your core as you lift these arms. Inhale, come down. I want you to feel this energy from underneath the arms so you're not powering from these top trapezius muscles. And lower. As you lift those arms, I want you to tighten your ribs, your belly, those transverse muscles. Giving me five more. Lift. And four. Exhale. Lift. And three. Breathe out to lift up. And two, exhale, lift, and one. Now, keeping these arms, from there we're going to bend those elbows. Think of the shoulder blades squeezing together. Watch that you don't lift all around those shoulders forward. Stretch those arms out. Two, let's squeeze into these upper back muscles, those posture muscles we need. Breathe out, three. Watch that your neck doesn't get involved here. Yeah, breathe four and stretch. Exhale five. Keep that core nice and strong. Breathe out six. Squeeze and stretch. Exhale seven. Inhale, stretch. Breathe four, eight and stretch. Exhale four, nine. And one more. If you want to rest, go for it. If you can offer a pulse, keep the shoulder blades connecting. Little pulse back, 10. And now keep these ribs tight in the front. And eight, and seven. Breathe, six, and five, and four, and three. Breathe, two, and one. Stretch, and relax. I hope you feel the work happening. Let's get into shoulder strength with back mobility. Hips, knees are not allowed to move. Get that posture. And we're going to pull out slightly on those bands as we rotate. Inhale, draw in the back. Keep that lift in your spine. Exhale, let's rotate. Inhale to center, not letting that body curl. Let's go for two. It doesn't have to be a big move. Listen to your lower backs. And breathe out, rotate. Keeping that arm strength. Exhale for three. Inhale, center. Breathe out, rotate. And last one. Holding here, watch the knees and hips. Option A, hold. Option B, pass. And two, and three, watching form, four, exhale, five, and six, 
Bring seven, one more, eight, come back. Other way, and hold or pass. And two, and three, breathe, four, and five. And six, and seven, one more, eight, come back. And relax, drop in that band. I'm going to turn to face the side. You can stay facing the camera, but I want you to open those feet wider. We're going to lean that upper body forward, lengthen through your back. Stick your bum to the back of the ball or chair, and let's curl into your spine. Tuck your chin to chest. Inhale as we release through the vertebra. Again, breathe out as we curl into your body. And inhale, let's release. Three, breathe out to curl. And inhale, let's release. One more, breathe out, curl. And let's release. Take your arm, hook that arm on the opposite knee, stay in that forward tilt, shoulders stay down. Reach this other hand forward. And we're going to glide that hand behind you, opening up this front shoulder and chest. Inhale, let's release it forward. I'm pressing gently against the outer knee. And we're working neck, shoulder, upper back mobility, keeping that core tight. Inhale for three more. Breathe out to reach. Inhale for two. Exhale to reach. Inhale for one. Now stay in this position for three. Two, one, swap other side, hook your hand over, float that hand in front, and let's glide back. Inhale forward, breathe out for two. Inhale forward, let's go for three. And forward, watching that placement four. And breathe for five. And one more. Hold this here for three. And two. And one. Amazing. And lifting up. And let's get you onto your knees. Now, you can either use the seat of your chair. I'm going to demo with the ball. And we're going to keep your bum up. And you're going to float those arms forward into that tabletop stretch. Once again, ears and arms are in line. Don't let that head drop down. We curl into your upper back. Chin is going to tuck. And then lengthen out through the spine. I hope you feel 20 feet taller after class. I want three more as we curl that core is tight. And inhale to stretch. Two, breathe out to curl. Inhale, let's stretch. And one more to curl. Now push into your stretch for five. Feel the shoulders, the back. Four, those under arms. Three, breathe. Two, deep breath for one. And relax. Amazing. Oh, let's put that chair, let's put that ball out of your way for a moment. I'm just going to turn this to face me to use later on. And let's get you comfortable on your back. If you want that neck support, let's grab hold of that cushion. Place it underneath you. If you feel you don't need it, work on that mat. You listen to your body. I want you to wrap your hands over your knees. Pull the knees deep into your chest and melt the slow back into the floor. Take this moment to just connect into your core. Check is your jaw, your neck, your shoulders feeling tight, and if that's the case, let's let that tension go, guys, relax. Okay, spine time, let's inhale, tilt forward to find your neutral spine, little gap here. Breathe out through your mouth, pull your knees into chest, Tighten in your ribs, your belly, and those transverse muscles. Inhale, gently tilting forward. Breathe out as you pull the knees in. Can 
get your core. Inhale for three. Breathe out as you pull those knees in. Inhale, release for four. Exhale, let's pull one more. Inhale, forward five. Now let's open up these hips. I want you to draw a circle around. Open your feet and knees. Big loop, five. And circle four. And circle three. Let that back tilt in and out of the mat for two. Oil these hips up. Breathe for one. And let's reverse around for one. And circle two. And breathe for three. Exhale for four. Last time for five. Placing those feet at distance apart. I want you to reach your arms behind you. Stop with arms and ears in line. Take a moment to fill those lungs up. Take a deep, strong breath in. And as you exhale, we're going to melt that low spine into the ground. Glide your arms down and connect into your ribs, your belly, and those transverse muscles. If you don't feel them triggering, cough, lock. Get these TAs to say hello. Inhale, gently tilt back. Find your neutral. Again, we use this exercise to get that lower spine feeling mobile and ensure that your core muscles are triggering with movement. That's the aim of the game. Let's go. Breathe out as we melt that spine into floor. Trigger ribs, belly, tears. And gently tilt to neutral. For those of you naturally tight and enjoy neck and shoulders, make sure they are completely relaxed. And inhale, release. Three more, I'm hoping these shoulders feel loose on each rib. And that core feels more and more weight for two. Breathe out as we imprint, flatten down. Inhale, let's release. And one, breathe out to flatten down and hold this position. We tap and pant. Strong breath, and three, and four, breathe five, and six, and seven, breathe eight, and nine, one more, and ten, relax. Open your arms up, find your T-line, bring palms to face up. Take your back leg for me, cross it over, anchor your shoulders down, Connect your core as you lower knees one way and you look opposite. Anchor the shoulders into the floor. Now please use the core. Let's bring those knees to center. If anyone feels pain or strain with this, keep it a really small movement. Doesn't have to be big. Use these shoulders as your anchor. So the second the shoulders want to lift, that's where you stop. Breathe out as you lower down, deep breath. Trigger the core as you come back. Let's lower that leg down, hold. And coming back, one more. We lower and stay in position for three, two, one. Let's draw it back. Other way, let's lower down. And hold three, hold two, hold one. Amazing and unfold. Swap other knee on top and let's gently lower down, watching those shoulders. Inhale, come back. Other way, let's lower down. Inhale, center. Two more, breathe out, lower. Inhale, come back. Exhale, let's lower. And one more. Let's anchor down and hold. Three, two, one. Draw in the back, other way. Lower, hold. Three, two, and one. Come back. I want you to please open up your knees, your feet. Anchor your hips down, stretch out that SI joint and it flexes. If you can, go that step further. Lift your heels. Happy 
your baby. Find that position. Here. And just give me three deep breaths here. Holding for two. Holding for one. Beautiful. And then slowly lower these legs down. And from this position, rest that one leg on the chair or on that ball. I want that back pushing into what we call imprint, so the back is flat. You should feel how these core muscles automatically trigger. Arms are going to be next to you as long as the shoulders are not popping forward, I'm happy. And this other leg is going to lift up at 90. If your hamstring is tight and knee stays bent, if you feel you can stretch it, go for it. Now from here, we're going to lower that leg down and stop. Trigger from that transverse, keeping that back flat, slowly lifting that leg back to 90. Let's go again. We breathe as you lower. Now don't use the thigh, don't use the lower back. Power from these transverse muscles to lift. And don't be shy guys, if you want to poke here, feel that the right area is triggering. That is what the gentle class is for, to condition the right core muscles to work. Let's lower for four, watch these shoulders. And slowly come back, four more. Breathe as you lower, keeping that back flat. And breathe out as we lift for three. Let's lower down. And breathe out to lift for two. Let's control it down. And trigger to lift up one more. Inhale to lower. And trigger to lift up and swap. Other side, push that back into imprint. Leg at 90, be strict with your form. Eight reps, let's lower. Power from that transverse muscle, lift. Inhale, let's lower down. And breathe out to lift up. Inhale, lower for three. If that hip is clicking, you keep it a smaller range, listening to your body for four. And trigger as you lift. Inhale, lower five. Keep checking that imprint spine up. Inhale, lower for six. Breathe out to lift up. Inhale, lower seven. Exhale to lift and one more. Breathe eight. Exhale to lift and relax. Draw your knees back into you and just relax that lower spine. If anyone feels a bit of tension, do that. Rock side to side. And I'm going to give you a few choices for our next core set. Option A, which is the most gentle option. I want your feet on the ground. Hands behind your head for neck support. Elbows are wide. And we're going to go into a gentle tilt where you tilt in that pubic bone, zipping your belly. Make sure those top abs connect and lower. If you feel you can add a little bit more, lengthen those legs out. And we offer that tilt. But if this is to saw on the lower back, keep your feet on the ground. All right, guys, let's do this. I want to see that tilt, that pubic bone tilt into you, that belly zipping, show me that chin, neck, and shoulder placement. And lower down. I'm going to demo both. Breathe out. We work in those abdominals from the pubic bone to the ribs. And let's lower it to neutral. Three, breathe out, tilting up. Yes, let's lower down. Four, breathe out to tilt up. Inhale to lower. Exhale for five, listening to your neck, your shoulders, your back. Six, breathe out to tilt, hello, core, and lower. Exhale for seven, and I love this because we're strengthening and mobilizing back at the same time. And eight, check you are not pushing that head forward. Two more, breathe out to curl. 
and one more. Now, if you can, hold this position for 10 at your deepest curl, nine. Eight, make sure there's no pressure on neck. We on six and five and four and three. Bring two, exhale for one, relax. Amazing. Take that cushion away from your neck. If you have that cushion close by, place it between your knees. I want these arms next to you, feet are aligned with those knees underneath you. And let's imprint, squeeze that cushion and lifting up. Always watching your alignment. Now using that curl down, release through your vertebra, shoulders are relaxed. Again, squeezing into that cushion, bind the hamstrings, core engage. And let's melt through this body, find your neutral. Three, we squeeze in to lift this body up and hold. And let's slowly melt back down, find neutral four. Breathe out every week, feeling this ability to go a little bit higher without compromising that lower back. And let's come down on two more. Squeeze as we lift up to hold. And let's lower it down for one more. Now, your option A is to just stay in this position for 10. If you feel you can add in some arms, we swing these arms up and down. And two. Keep those hips in line. Keep that bum hamstring tight. Belly strong, supporting that lower back. We are five. And down, breathe six. And down, breathe for seven. And lower, deep breath, eight. And down, two more, breathe nine. And one more, breathe for ten. And slowly melt that body down, one vertebra at a time. Remove your cushion, stretch one leg, hug your back knee into the body, and let all that rip that spine up for four. Nice, and three, and two, circle for one other way, let's go one. Circle for two, breathe out for three, and last out for four, swap other way, pull the knee into your chest, and loop around four, and three, and two, breathe out for one, other way, let's go for it, four. And three, breathe two, exhale for one, and join me on your sideline position. I'm gonna move that chair out of my way. If you want the next support, grab onto that cushion, let's get comfy. Well, kinda comfy, because we also are strengthening out. I want your underneath leg scoot right up. I want that top leg in line with you. Don't let that heel glide behind you. I want a neutral spine. We want to lift that ribcage and belly off the ground and plant that hand on the thigh so the shoulder blades are connected, not letting that neck tense up. Now from here, we're going to glide that leg up without letting this gap go. Keep it controlled. Inhale, relax. Exhale, push through your heels, squeeze the bum and outer thigh, tighten this core every time. Exhale for three. Inhale, lower. Squeeze four and come down. Squeeze up five. Inhale, lower. Breathe out six and come down. Exhale, seven. And one more, hold it at eight. Keep in there, we point the foot and place. Two, keep that squeeze and three. And squeeze and four. And five, breathe through the move. Six, one, and seven, up, and eight, and nine. And 10, if you've reached 
push your maximum relax if you can join me to go deeper two we pulsing three little moves four and five and six and seven breathe eight and nine one more and ten relax bum hip out of thigh working but don't worry we rest we reach these hands in front let's see that posture line I want you to float your arm to the back. Keeping those knees glued, open up as far as you can go without compromising your form. And always using this to really set the upper body how we should have it for that beautiful posture. Amazing. Three, those of you who do struggle with tight neck, draw shoulders, let this be your everyday set. I even say do it lying in bed. Now in four, stay here and melt into this for four, three, two. Let's draw that body back on one. I stay four, chest stays four. Lube up these shoulders. Four and three. Make sure that shoulder doesn't click two. And one, let's reverse, one, and two, breathe up for three, exhale for four, one more, five, and from here we wrap our hand over foot, pull the leg back, stretch out your thyroid flexor, enjoy, don't let your upper body change form, so no arching there, keep core strong. Study, let's go up and over. I'm hoping those bums have recovered by now. Let's go up, over, getting into perfect form. Scoop that leg up, top leg is flexed straight, hips on line, anchoring here, lifting belly and ribs. And let's go squeeze that up and lower. As you lift, tighten in that core. Make sure your leg is in line with you, not going behind. I don't want to see that back out of neutral. And lift up. Neck is relaxed. Squeeze. And down. Four more. Let's lift. And three. Breathing out. And two. Exhale. Lift. And one. Now keep that leg up. We point and flex, and two, and flex, three, and back, breathe, four, whoop, and five, and six, breathe, seven, breathe, eight, and nine, if this is it for you, rest, if you can join me, go deeper, ten, and nine, and eight, pants, and six, and five, breathe, four, and three, and two, and one, relax. Out those bums and hips are getting so strong. Let's go up the spine, opening this out to the side. Good, drawing it back to center for two. Breathe out, let's open this up and reach. Inhale, coming back, keep those knees glued. Three, exhale to open up and reach. And drawing it back for one more. Open this up and just melt into position and hold it there. Three, two, one. As you come back, let's oil that shoulder for five. No clicking, no grinding. Four, circle three. Circle two and one other way. Five and four and three. Breathe up for two. Exhale one. Draw that foot back. Stretch out thigh. Hip flexor holding ya. Good. And before we get into mobility and stretch, I want to get into some stability and core. Now, if you need the knee support, use that cushion underneath your knees. And let's go, hands and knees. Lengthen in your neck and spine. 
Tilt that pubic bone to belly so we create this length in the lumbar spine. I want you to reach your back hand in front. I want you to lengthen this front leg back. Option A to keep your toes on the ground. If you feel you can challenge yourself, lift the foot slightly off the ground. Do not let that leg go too high. I don't want anyone feeling lower back pain. Now keep that body weight in the center. And from here, we're going to lower those fingertips and toes down. If you're working with the foot on the ground, then just that arm is going to move. Let's lower down to tap. Connect your core as we lift. I want you to keep that neck and back as still as possible. As you're lifting that belly and bum tighten, we on four. Lengthen, don't let those shoulders shrug up. Inhale, five. And lift. Inhale, four, six. Exhale, don't let that body tilt onto that wrist. No pressure, seven. And lift up. One more for eight. And lift. And soar. Beautiful. And the more and more we do this, guys, the stronger it's going to get. And then we just keep adding on some fun stuff to it. I love it. Find that placement. Let's lift into position. Eight reps. We lower. Breathe out. Connecting up. Watch your alignment. Inhale. Two. Exhale, lengthen, lift. Inhale, lower, three. Don't let those hips tilt, don't let that back arch. Inhale, lower, four. Watching that shoulder line. Inhale, five. Head is staying in place, not tilting forward. Breathe, six. Don't forget that tilt up, cubic bone to belly, lower, seven. And last time, deep breath for eight. And lift and relax. Good work. Hands on the shoulders, knees on hips. And I want you to push that mat away as we curl into your spine. Inhale, very gently open your collarbone to the front. Stretch. Breathe out as we tuck and curl into your spine. And inhale, gently moving into a release. Two more, breathe out, tuck and curl. And let's release it out for one more. Breathe out, push your mat away, stretch those upper backs. And flatten neck and spine. I want you to tilt those hips sideways, you look to the back. What's important to me is that you are getting this lower side area to stretch. Every person has a different range, so you make sure you are getting that beautiful activation. It's often our side lower back areas that store a lot of our sitting tension, so let's get rid of it. Now, on this one, hold that stretch for three, two, one, draw in the back and other way for three, two, one, let's come back. I want you to roll this body up. Let's open up that hip flexor. Take a step forward, toes in front of knees, hands on thighs. And I want you to lower into your hips, tilting that body forward. Open up that hip flexor. Inhale, release. Tighten that core, legs lower down, two. Inhale, release, good, let's go for three. And one more, now your choice, either stay with your hands on thighs. If you can, go deeper, anchor your hands. And imagine I'm gently pressing this position here, yeah, the pelvis, and hold four, hold three. Hold two and one. Amazing. Other side. Toes in front of knees, hands on thighs, and lower down for one. Inhale, release. Exhale, lower down for two. Inhale, release. Good. Always connecting core three. 
and be mindful of your alignment of the hips. Option A, stay here. Option B, deeper stretch for five. Open your flexors. Four, three, three, two, and one. And let's get into that mobility set on your back. If you want the next support, grab that cushion. Let's get comfy. Grab onto that band, that belt. And I want you to place your band over both feet. Remember, the aim of the game is to get you balance in strength and flexibility. And that is what helps with injury prevention. Now guys, shoulder blades and back are relaxed in the floor. We're going to bend our knees. As you stretch, trigger that core. Inhale, bend. Breathe up. So yes, we are mobilizing, but I love the multitasking. So we always trigger core. Strengthen, strengthen, strengthen. Dual benefits here. Let's do two more. Trigger as you stretch. One more, bend. Now legs are staying up. We're going to loop around, massage your back for four loops. And three. And two, get. And one other way, let's go four. And three, breathe two. And one, take your front leg out. If your back needs support, keep the knee bent. If you feel you can stretch it, go for it. Look at your bones and make sure they are in line. Your lower back is relaxed. And we draw a circle around for five. Oily in that hip up. And four, keep that core tight. Three, keep those hips still. And two, circling for one, reverse around for five. And four, circle three, breathe out two. And one, from this position, bend your knee as you imprint your back. Exhale as you stretch it out. Inhale, imprint. And stretch, inhale, three. And stretch, inhale, four. And stretch, one more, breathe, five. Now, big stretch up, flex your foot, stretch your knee, check your pelvis is centered, that bum relaxed, and push to your maximum. Yes. Lift the hamstrings, allow those backs to sit in beautiful neutral, so there's reason to keep working on this mobility. I want you to keep that band secure in the middle of the foot and just point the toes, lengthen up behind the knee and hold five, hold four, hold three, hold two, we flex the foot on one, Band into your opposite hand, anchor your shoulder down, and let's take that foot across and up. We stretch that sciatic area, that ITB. I know this is usually where people give me the, oh, Rob, that's a killer, but it is so important for us. From here, place your band in that back hand. I always like to add that dual hip stretch, so bend this knee. Open up that leg and stretch the hip. Watch that pelvis doesn't tilt. Four and three. Breathe two and one. Studying other side. Band over that foot. Your choice to bend or stretch. Check your pelvis is aligned and let's loop five. Four. Good. Oil that pelvis up. Three. Two, one, reverse for five, and four, and three, circle, two, and one, from your bend into imprint, stretch it out, inhale, imprint that back, and stretch, three, and stretch, breathe, four, and one more deep breath, five, and this is it. Check your hips on line, the knees straight, your bum relaxed. And building that awareness, guys, is one side a lot tighter than the other. You might feel that. It's so important to know the imbalances in the body. Make sure that band is secure as you 
point your toes, stretch this out, five, four, three, two, we're going to hold the band with the opposite hand, anchoring you down, and let's go into that fun one, across and upwards, five, four, three, breathe, two, and open this up, bend that knee, arm opens as well, inner thighs, stretch that body out, hips, Now from this position, your choice, option A, go to your maximum if you want to be at 90, go there. If it doesn't hurt you to go a little bit deeper and lift those tailbones slightly, go there. Check your neck, shoulders and back are not compromised. And just focus on three deep breaths. Opening that neural pathway, align that lymph drainage to happen. Amazing, bring your bodies back. Option A, bum and hip stretch with that foot on the ground. Option B, we move deeper into it, anchor those sitting bones down and stretch. Other side, ankle on thigh, option A. And option B, and remember how important these stretches are for back pain prevention. Good, we don't let those attic areas tighten up. Amazing, and from here, uncross your legs, pull your knees into your chest, let's keep them glued together, the knees and ankles, and just massage that lumbar, the sacrum into the ground. I want as much blood flow in that area. Other way, let's circle four and three. Breathe two, we're gonna slowly get our bodies up. You can either roll onto your side or slowly swing up and let's get standing. I want you to please cross that one leg over the other. Hips stay forward, core stay strong. Hands behind you and into that side stretch for the side back those hips inhale back up and over side stretch sneaky core one as well no to lean over other way let's do it side stretch wonderful up and over stretch let's keep those hands where they are Feet, knees, find that posture and gently tuck your chin for that next stretch. Lifting your chin, flex the hand or anchor it behind you and it's your gentle next stretch. Shoulders staying down. Amazing guys. Other way, flex or hand behind you, shoulder down. Interlace hands behind you and stretch out the chest, the shoulders, the front of the neck. Tuck your pelvis under and stretch that body forward. Lift these hands up through the roof. And let's see that spine as we roll the body down. At the bottom, I want you to go into your big stretcher. Lengthen behind your knees and hold. Three, two, one. Bend your knees and roll this body up, placing that posture. Connect your upper back, sink to your head. And two breaths to finish. Inhale with deep energy into the body, exhale out. Inhale, full those lungs and deep exhale and relax. Whoa, guys, I hope you feel absolutely amazing and I just hope you feel balanced.